when I was uh, about 15, myself and a friend were stopped on Middle Abbey Street and we were asked to do a personality test upstairs in a room and we went up and um, we were told that we only used 1% of our brain power and we started giggling and we didn't do the personality test. Um, the book was that what they were trying to plug was Dianectics, if I'm saying that right. Um, and they were, of course, the Church of Scientology that uh, had approached us, but we didn't know that at the time. We just went away giggling. They've though come a long way from um, a rather shoddy looking room upstairs on Middle Abbey Street. I'm joined in the studio by Roisin Burke, uh, the Sunday Business Post's business correspondent. And um, now they've got a, a pretty plush outfit that they just opened last weekend. Yes, indeed, Francesca. And it, may I say 1% of your brain power? If I, I think that's highly unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they've come a long way in Ireland since those days. Uh, they first off, uh, exactly a year ago, opened their National Affairs office here. So that was a plush office bought for around 4 million on Merrion Square. And now... Uh, on Saturday, almost a year to the day, or exactly a year to the day since the launch of the Marion Square office, they've opened this very large facility in Fur House in Tala. Um, it's been referred to in the press as a European hub. They're describing it as a centre for interaction and partnership and a kind of a community centre. But it's a, it's, a, it's a large facility with a conference centre, with sports pitch, pitches that they say will be available to the community, uh, meeting rooms, a cafe. And they're very much emphasising that this will be uh, a benefit to the community. Was anyone allowed to go to their opening, though? I didn't kind of get that feeling. And obviously, people outside it, but the people who were invited, they uh, were Scientologists, as, right? As far as I'm aware uh, of the 1,200 people attending, uh, there weren't any press there. I don't believe there were any local people in a, attendance, uh, just Scientologists and their guests on the day. And, of course, their high-profile uh, head of the church, David Miscavige, who flew in especially from the States to, to launch the, the centre on the day. This is the way you've described it. Obviously, the first it was the Marion Square move. Now we have this, this big seven acre campus out in South Dublin. Um, is there any sense of why the Church of Scientology suddenly has Ireland or Dublin in its sights? Why they're here? Well, they've they've come under a, a tremendous amount of um, of pressure or at, or at least negative attention in the States. There have been several documentaries that have portrayed the church in a negative light in recent years. They've been strongly criticised by former members, including uh, um, Lea Rememi. She's a kind of Hollywood star who left the church and has been very critical of it. Uh, also, there have been calls in the States for the Church of Scientology to lose their uh, religious and charitable status there. Uh, now, they don't have that status here, but... That's for uh, tax purposes. Yes, yeah. indeed. So, but that threat may have uh, caused the church to look uh, to look at missions outside of, of the States. Whatever the reason, uh, they haven't chosen to talk about it, but certainly uh, in the last while, uh, they have... Uh, uh, opened around 60 new missions all over the world in Asia, in Europe, um, in the Middle East. They, they have said that and they've a stated ambition in the next 12 months to open many more. OK, so, or maybe it's possible that this is just phase two or phase three or whatever of, the, of, of their, their plan. Is there any sense of how much money they've been spending in Ireland or is that kind of under wraps? Well, the centre that they bought out in Fur House, that was sold for in the region of six million. Uh, add to that then the Marion Square office that was acquired for four million. Then they've been spending thousands and thousands of euros in the last few months on long leases on uh, on lettings for, for the dozens and dozens of staff that we know have come here in recent months. So, so it is quite a sizable investment. Yeah, and staff as well. I mean, when you say the staff, what, like, what does these are? When you say staff, that they're paid. Well, that this is kind of um, it, any I, idea what they're supposed to be doing, or is this all kind of in terms of the remuneration? I, it's it's not known, but um, there the main one of the main objectives here seems to be to carry out the work of what the church calls ideal org, which. Uh, 
is a kind of a mission that engages with the community, uh, fights what it calls the war on drugs, um, uh, you know, promotes promotes the the church's activities in the and in spreads the community. their and spreads, word, spreads the world, exactly yeah. spreads the good news. Okay, yeah. Um, so I yeah. suppose it's people will be keeping an eye on it, and uh, it's it's quite an un- unusual step. I I, mm. I don't know. I. I how many Scientologists there are in Ireland, but I don't think there are that many, are there? Well, there there are uh, at most in the region. It's thought around uh, ninety, but uh, many more, as we said, have have come here in in recent months. Um, but it is a church that has been had has attracted a tremendous controversy, as we said. You know they. Um, they don't. The church does not believe in psychiatry or psychology as such. They have their their own way of. of believe in celebrity disorders. though. Yeah, yes, <laughs> very very much so. That's another one of the controver- controversial claims or allegations that have been made in the past that they have a, a aggressive way of of pursuing financial donations from from members. Um, yes, believes in celebrity. Uh, Tom Cruise is uh, said to be a very senior member of the church. Uh, John Travolta, um, uh, Elizabeth Moss. Yes, that's a lot right. of yeah, yeah, a lot of yeah. well-known figures. And yeah. Well, yeah, I won't get into the ins and outs of that their controversial uh, take on the world yeah. and, as a religion. Um, but I'll leave it at that. Thanks very much, Roisin Burke, for, for joining us. Yeah.